All right, we're back. I'm gardening while high. As you can see, the tomatoes, they've all been done very nicely. Loose areas to give them plenty of room to grow, but to keep them sturdy into the pole. We have two issues when transplanting. The first one was this. When we moved this plant, this beautiful head cracked right here. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna fill up the dirt higher than this mound and just allow it to heal and grow through the dirt and fix that problem. The other issue we're having is some of them are getting heavy, so we need to add some more soil to bring these up. So we're gonna do that on this side, on both sides of the beets. Pass, pass. Thank you. you. Go. Enjoy. Thank you. You can shovel it, you can do it, but if you got the strength, I just like to just do a big mound right here that I'm gonna need for the job. Something just bit me. That's nature life. We out here. First, I want to fix the beets. So I'm going to gently hold them up and push the mound like this. See? And then you kind of reinforce it, pack it in, and it will heal itself. That's what dirt does. It helps the plants heal and grow. So now that that's taken care of, take the next mound you want, kind of put it right into the area I'm going to want it to cover and grow. You know, give it a chance that way, these will find a way to survive. Trust me, this vining plant is ridiculous. You see these things right here? These things will wrap around anything you put around them, which is why I gave them so much space. So now I shift this over because I don't want them to attach to each other. I want the plant, as it knows, it's going towards the piece of wood. It's headed this way. The feelers are knowing. The plant itself knows it has to grow. It just knows. Nature's beautiful. Um, with that being said, it's my like a freaking area I'm covering. Oh, and then this guy is like so strong, it's so strong. I'm gonna leave it this way. I feel like uh, this one's got I can make it. But with this area covered this way, I don't know. I, I have a good feeling about this branch. I feel like it's gonna yield the biggest cucumber. Like my words, we'll see. This one's gonna survive through this breakage and just survive. There you go. go. Kind of position all the other plants, you know? Give everybody plenty of space. It's like, hey, you don't need to crowd no more. Back to me. It's just dirt, it's the earth. It's what you eat from, it don't matter. So, now that I have everything set up, spread out, the new dirt, you look for any other issues you may have. If you see it, you know. Pack a little dirt on it. Now we gotta fix one other beat and then we are done for the day. So we kind of look, kind of test out the area. I mean, you're gonna see, you know, the ant for some reason. Oh, sorry, plant. Sorry, leaf. For some reason, okay, we're gonna, so we're gonna go right here, guys. We're gonna put the dirt right here to help support it to get it like this, just like this one. So with that, we'll bring our trusty little dirt. Any little extra dirt you have. You can do what you want with it, but like I said, this eventually might be stuff in this area. We don't know. So for now, take some of that good dirt. And I'm just putting mild right now that I'm gonna work with. So I don't have to keep transferring. I got one hand. Because one hand has the blood. So now, and some gun need my other hand, I pass it back. Take your Thank turn, you. guys. Hey. Ooh, sorry, baby. I heard that crack. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna get you right again. Right, baby, get you nice and good. There we go. Talk to your plants. I cannot emphasize that enough. Whether it's flowers, vegetables, fruits, or your beautiful herbal plant Mary Jane bud eh, I'm done <laughs> but uh, just look this is what you did so now we'll keep an eye on these and see how they grow but definitely talk to your plants touch them your, your energy what you give your love sounds they react to it helps them grow don't just look at your plants be a part of them give them some of your life energy
And that's what helps them survive. Just guide them. They're like your children. You gotta tell them what to do. So they understand and then they'll do it for you. And then you go this way. That's the way you wanna go. Your brother's going that way. Yeah. I already lost the flower. That happens. It's part of the process. It'll get there. During the summer months, oh, let's show them how this looks from the transplant. As you can tell just from yesterday, the vitality and size of the plants already like, yes, now I can breathe, you know? So, I'm going to get them right there for these guys. Just, just a little bit right here for now. I'll give you more of a sturdier surface. You know, it was a little casualty of war, but overall, it was a great choice. We transplanted at the right time and we transplanted the right veggies. We couldn't have done the carrots, they're going too deep. That would have probably destroyed them. But everything else is good. Everything else is going to work. And we'll see what we get. So, this is Ralph G. Gardening while high. And if I can grow, so can you.